My name is Mark Weiss. I'm the Chief Executive Officer and Founder of the Action Staffing Group. And I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to Action TV. What we've put together is an ability to show all different types of safety content to all of our employees and our customers. And this involves safety practices inside warehouses and on the road. Our doors are open to everybody. We embrace diversity, and we're here to give everybody a chance that wants to come in and work with us. One of 50 people that starts with Action Staffing Group eventually gets offered a direct position with one of our clients. And quite frankly, I don't want you in these folding chairs very long. I'd like them to be a springboard for you to establish yourself in a career. That's what it's all about here, opportunity for everybody on an equal basis. I've seen warehouse facilities with picking mechanisms that cost millions of dollars. And then I've seen companies that are much more modestly set up with very basic equipment that really haven't changed um, in their case uh, for many, many years. But in both situations, the objective is the same. Pick the product, palletize it, which means you put it on a wood pallet, which is a platform, put it together, wrap it up, get it onto a truck, get it out for delivery. That's the process. When you get to that client company, the driver's gonna stop the truck, that's when you exit. Look and see where you're exiting. If he's parked along a busy road, you need to look in front of you, to the side, in back of you, to make sure when you open that door, you don't, you don't hit an ongoing truck or, or car coming by. You gotta look at where you are. And let me just add in the city, bicycles. <laughs> right. Is the, is the delivery going to be made faster if I slip and fall, if I drop the product, or if I bang into somebody or run over somebody's ankle, is that going to make for a quicker, more efficient delivery than if I took the steps that Eric just talked about and worked carefully at a pace that gets the job done, but gets it done efficiently and safe, safely? That's the key. You want to deliver the merchandise safely and successfully at all times. Back injuries are some of the serious injuries we've come across in workers' compensation. And it's something you completely want to avoid. Because sometimes, some people, when they injure their back, it could be something that changes their life forever. So you have to do everything you can to prevent injuring your back. And it's something that can be uh, prevented easily. The first thing you need to do is use your head. Think before you lift. You look at a box, test the weight. Make sure that the box is not too heavy for you. Use a wide stance. We've always heard bend with your knees, not with your back. Well, yes, bend with your knees is the most important thing to do and not to bend over with your back. But to make the lift even easier and safer is to use a wide stance. That way, when you bend your, with your knees, it brings your body down closer to the ground where you can pick up the box. Once you've completed the lift, Make sure that the path that you're walking is clear. Make sure that there's no wet spots, any ice. We talked about going in the freezer. Make sure the floor is not slippery. We've talked about going in the kitchen. There's always water on the floor in the kitchen. So make sure that you notice where it is and you take extra precaution going through it. In a touch freight situation, you're basically a route driver and you see these people delivering all day long, whether it be Coca-Cola, bakery products, uh, they're out on a specialized route visiting customers during the day. The goal of, of your operation with the client company is to be able to get around, complete all your deliveries efficiently, successfully, and treat the customers, the client customers, as if you were working for the client. Always pull over. If you have to make a call or you have to text something, always pull over. And the other thing I remember, as uh, Mark had mentioned before, no earbuds while driving. You know, the other thing that uh, comes to mind as I'm listening to you talk about being aware and looking all around you, um, you know, every once in a while you'll see uh, something in the newspaper or you'll see something on TV where a tractor trailer driver went into a, went on a roadway that was not designed for trucks. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden the top of the truck gets sliced off almost like a tin can. Mm -hmm. Employers today are looking for help. They're looking for workers 
that will come in and contribute to the goals of that company. And they don't want drama. So I'm looking for the best attitude that I can have out in the workforce every day. And knowing you can get a, a direct job, I think that's a good incentive. We don't want anyone to get injured. We don't want anyone to have anything happen to them which prevents them from earning their living every single day. Thank you very much for listening.